Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the motion. Notwithstanding my exchanges with the Minister for Home Affairs and Law just now, I would like to state my case again for an open and independent inquiry into Party Leani's case for further consideration by the government. Mr. Speaker, the Progress Singapore Party stance is very clear. We think that the wide implications of the lapses in the criminal justice system in the Party Leani's case warrant an open and independent inquiry. I do not think it is unfair to say that there were lapses in all three major institutions of our criminal justice system, the police, the prosecution, and the state courts. We were extremely fortunate that Ms. Liani's counsel, Mr. Bajatani, had an unwavering conviction to ensure that justice was done, and the High Court caught those errors and reversed them, thus preventing a miscarriage of justice. While it is of absolute importance that both the MHA and AGC conduct their own internal investigations, it is frankly not enough. There are three main points of concern with merely conducting an internal review. Firstly, it is not unreasonable to say that most would want to paint the best picture of the situation when it is your organization on the line. Are they independent enough to be completely objective in their review? Secondly, systemic issues are not going to be caught by piecemeal internal investigations since they are conducting micro and not macro level investigations. An independent inquiry will be able to examine the entire criminal justice process across all the three major institutions to ensure that systemic problems were identified, are acknowledged by the various institutions and considered for improvement to the system. I would like to draw the House attention to an example of an independent inquiry, and that was the Committee of Inquiry into the MRT breakdown of 2011. In the wake of the two consecutive breakdowns, in December 2011, then Minister for Transport, Lui Tak Liu, convened the COI, which ran in parallel to SMRT and LTA's own internal investigations, as concerns were raised about possible systemic shortcomings. I quote the former minister, LTA and SMRT have also started their own separate investigations. This is to be expected. Both parties clearly have the duty and responsibility to find out what went wrong, especially for those areas that they are accountable for. The COI, on the other hand, is an independent party appointed by the Ministry of Transport and will also look into the larger systems issue beyond that which SMRT and LTA will cover in their respective probes. Compared to the MRT case, the systemic failure in the Party Liani case needed even more coordination in order to be addressed because it is not restricted to one ministry but also involved the AGC and the state courts. Thirdly, it is appropriate to reiterate that justice must not only be done, but it must also be seen to be done. An internal review by the relevant agencies alone is unlikely to assuage those doubts among our citizens, nor that justice was seen to be done. Singaporeans like to know why a simple theft case involving an underprivileged in our society has taken four long years to see the light of day. The time and resources required in a criminal justice process means that the odds are, stuck heavily against, are stacked heavily against the underprivileged in our society. How can we improve the access to justice for these people? Although the legal process is based on evidence, Singaporeans 
are also looking for an answers as to why there was little compassion shown to the underprivileged in our society. Especially in this case, both parties were on opposite ends of society, one party living in the highest echelons of society and the other the complete opposite. In his appeal judgment, Justice Chan Sing Ong has also raised some questions about the plaintiff's motive in filing their police report. So it is not just the lack of compassion, but that there is also a perception of favoritism among some segments of Singaporeans where the rich and powerful can directly or indirectly enjoy the power of the state to their benefits. This has to be addressed seriously. As Han Fo Kuang put it, people can accept huge differences in wealth, say between a business tycoon and his servant. This is the reality of a capitalist society like Singapore. But they will revolt if on top of this wealth gap, there's a privilege and entitlement divide that separates the elites from the masses. Convening an independent inquiry with hearings that are open to the public or live-streamed live would go a long way to show our citizens that justice is being done. Mr. Speaker, Chinese please. Sinjabotian 社会弱势群体的透切案竟然花了四年多这么长的时间才能洗脱怨情需要这么多的资源才能进行诉讼意味着我们的司法制度对弱势群体是很不公平的我们必须给弱势群体提供更公平的机会法律是依据程序和证据新加坡人也很难理解为何我们的司法制度对弱势群体似乎完全没有同情心特别是利亚尼安尼双方生活在社会的两极端一方是生活在社会的最高阶层而另一方则是社会的最低阶层高庭法官陈陈安在判决书中对原告报案的动机也特别提出了一些疑问这让很多人怀疑我们的制度不仅缺乏同情心而且赋予和有权势的人还有可能利用国家的力量为自己谋求福利所以我们必须极力消除这些